got a lead foot baby and a red line tag. I'll be somewhere else in nothing flat. Left to forget me not a rose on your bedside stand. I may be back this way again, hey, I'm a rambling man. This old highway is my home. Baby, I hey, YouTube and RV fans, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the 70s and the RV lifestyle back then versus now. And the things that you could do then that is totally unacceptable today. Now you remember the 70s folks, uh, for those of you guys that were uh, old enough, which is uh, a lot of my viewers because um, you know I'm, I'm like touching 50 very, very soon. So I missed being a baby boomer, but I definitely remember the 70s because it's when the air was clean, but sex was still dirty. Now, all joking aside, well, actually, no, we are joking. Part of the fun of the 70s was uh, the crazy things that were totally dangerous, but we didn't worry about it. A part of the recreation of uh, RVing in the 70s was y you did things with your family, like playing lawn darts. You remember lawn darts? They were those uh, projectiles made of steel that you would lob into the air that could impale you and uh, seriously injure you and occasionally fracture your skull and kill you. Those things were banned in the 80s, uh, late 80s, I believe, in the uh, United States and Canada. I think we were a year or two later than the United States to ban them for some reason because we really love those lawn darts. Now, another thing that has changed is technology. For example, I definitely remember we did not have carbon monoxide detectors in our RVs, but we loved to bring our kerosene lanterns and our kerosene powered heaters inside our RVs because Everybody knows a little bit of carbon monoxide never killed anybody. A third really weird thing about RVs in the 70s and into the, maybe the early 80s was those uh, deep shag carpet rugs that they loved to put in the floor, which was uh, really beautiful because they help absorb all that cigarette smoke that everybody was doing inside their RVs. For example, if you had six adults in your RV, six adults were hotboxing those cigarettes inside the RV and sharing that secondhand smoke with their kids because we had to help build their immunity to make them strong. Another thing we didn't have in the 70s was helicopter parents who whenever you uh, were RVing and you skinned your leg, Mom came around with the antibacterial soap or the antibacterial wipe. Now, I'm sure many of you folks have your stories and experiences of things that have changed in the RV world, in the RV lifestyle since the 70s to today. And please make a comment below and let me know how things have changed for you. So my shameless commerce division of my YouTube channel says, keep your wheels in the ground and buy a sticker. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.